let's talk about one-itis. You know, every now and then I get a couple comments on my videos uh, a couple times a week. Uh, maybe a couple guys will say, bro, you seem to have like one-itis over this Jasmine girl that you talk about in uh, your past videos and, um, you know, stuff like that. You seem to have one-itis. You seem to be, uh, you know, like still in love with her and still have feelings for her and stuff like that. And my response to that is you are absolutely right. I guess you could technically say I do have one-itis, right? But here's the thing. You call it one-itis. I just call it having love for a person. And, you know, here's the thing. Having love for a person is, is, not, a, is not a bad thing as long as you don't do things that you know you shouldn't do. For example, men, our biggest flaw, I would say, our biggest weakness as men is that we bury our emotions and we don't admit to ourselves how we truly feel about something. We push it down, we push it down. And I'm guilty of this. I've done this for years, right? We push it down. We pretend we don't care. We bury our emotions. We try to kill it. We try to be heartless, logical machines, you know? We try to be gods, you know? But at the end of the day, no matter how much we hate to face it, we are only human, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, we're always brought down to our knees by a, high, by a higher power and forced to confront the fact that we are human, you know what I'm saying? As a man, I am very logical. I am 80% logic, but guess what? I'm still 20% emotion, right? And the beautiful thing about being a man who's in touch with his feelings, I I, I know I do have love for people, right? And yeah, I miss them, but I'm, you know, I, like, like Jasmine, for example. Yeah, I still have tons of love for her. I still miss her every day, but I have enough discipline, you know, and understanding to know that it wouldn't be right for me to talk to her. I still blocked her out. I still removed her from my life. You see what I'm saying? It's not about how you feel. You know, it's not about, it's not about what you're feeling. It's about what you know is right and what you have the discipline to do with those feelings. You know, it's like if you have uh, feelings of anger towards someone like, oh, you know, I want to kill this guy because he ripped me off. It's not about how angry you feel. It's about having the discipline, you know what I'm saying, to not act on those feelings. And that's the ultimate blessing of being born a man. You can understand your feelings. You can appreciate them, you know, and you can put them to bed and you cannot act on them. You can have the discipline, you know. And, and, and the reasoning to understand that you're not going to act on those feelings. You can understand them, you can appreciate them, and then you can put them to bed and keep going. That's the blessing that men have that women, for the most part, don't have. Now, the tragedy is that most men choose not to act on this, um, you know, not to use this skill. But don't ever feel bad because you have feelings of love for someone. Feelings are not weakness, you know. What you do based on those feelings determines if you're weak or not. <laughs> You know, um, we are not heartless machines. You know, we are not gods. You know, we, I, I, I'll always love women. You know what I'm saying? And I hate what women have become these days. I have a huge, you know, amount of disgust for what they've turned into. But on a biological level, I will always love women. And that gives me power. See, a lot of guys, including Midtow, you know, we feel like... We need to kill the love for have we have we need to kill the love we have for women. We need to bury it, and that's when we're gonna become free and powerful, right? When we no longer feel anything towards them. That couldn't be farther from the truth. If you go down that road, and I know this because I've gone down that road in the past, you're gonna you're gonna implode. You're gonna go a period of time. You're gonna become so sick and full of hate, and you're not you're gonna not you're not gonna learn you're not gonna know how to love anything, right? Because Whatever you're feeling becomes who you are. I have nothing but love for women, you know, and I have nothing but love for my male friends, you know, in a, in a, in a straight way, not, you know, not in a homosexual way. I have nothing but love for, for, for men and women because if I think hateful thoughts, I become hatred, you know. You can think, oh, I hate the way these women are, and by just thinking that, you know, you're going to become the human embodiment of hatred. So I have nothing but love for, for, for men and women and for everybody, no matter how warped and sick they become. Because the second I start feeling feelings of hatred and, and, and give in to feelings of hatred, I become hatred. You see what I'm saying? It is okay. It is normal. It is healthy for you to have love and for you to miss and for you to desire women, you know. But, but what really matters is facing those feelings, appreciating them, understanding you have love for someone, and then still having the discipline, 
and the knowledge to know I'm not going to act on those feelings because it's not right. You know, um, they, they say if you really love someone, you'll let them go, right? Having hatred for a woman because she did you dirty or because of how they're becoming and resenting them and killing your feelings, that's not love. That's possession. That woman actually has power over you because you're giving her the power. You know, when you hate her like that and you try to kill those feelings and bury them, you're giving her the power and the leverage. And on a deep uh, subconscious level, you're actually going to miss her and love her more. Um, and it's not a healthy love. It's, it's like a sick possession. I have love for Jasmine, you know, I say, I, 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 yeah, I love her, I miss her, but I know we're not right together, and I know I can't talk to her, but I wish her the best, and that gives me the power to move on, you guys see what I'm saying? As a man, you want to be in touch with your emotions. If you guys have ever seen the yin-yang circle, you know, the black and white circle, the yin-yang, uh, the like ancient Chinese or Japanese circle, whatever it is, the yang energy represents the male, right? I believe... That is the white energy. I'm not sure there's white and black, but the yang energy is the male. The yin energy is the female, right? Now, if you look at the yang energy and the yin energy, there's a small dot in both sides of the circle that has the other color. So the white, let's say the white uh, part of the circle represents the masculine, right? The yang energy. There will be a little black dot in the middle that represents the feminine part of the masculine that you need to embrace. Women have it too. If they are the yin energy, the black part, there's a little white dot in their circle, that means they need to embrace a small part of masculinity. See, as a man, you're not really complete until you embrace your feelings um, and embrace a little bit of that feminine energy. Now, it doesn't mean become a complete woman and everything is an emotional decision, but you need to be honest with yourself and embrace what you're feeling and accept it and not hate yourself for it and understand that your feelings are just your feelings. You, you're grateful to have them, but you're not going to act on all of them and you understand that your logical brain is still going to guide you Uh, to do what you need to do versus what you feel you want to do. What I feel I want to do, of course I want to see Jasmine. Of course I want to sleep with her again. Of course I want to feel her soft feminine skin. But I know logically that's not right for me. I know she will lead me down the wrong path and I have the discipline and the love to remove her from my life. But there's no ill will. You know, there's no resentment towards that because the ultimate power is the power of love. You know, when when you are willing to love and let go, there's nothing you can't do without at that point, you know. You won't have uh, one-itis, uh, if you will, you know. Um, you're, you're not going to have any of that weakness. And, um, you know, the picture I'm using for this uh, video is uh, the character Zabuza from Naruto. And he is the most ruth- he's the most ruthless gangster killer in the entire show. And at the very end, right before he dies, he realizes the love he had for his partner um, you know, was, was stronger than all of that. You know, he tried to bury that. He tried to be hateful. He tried to be a cold killer and bury the, the love he had for his partner. And, um, at the end of it, the love he had for his partner overtook him and he decided, you know what? I'm not a ruthless killing machine. No matter how hard I tried to be, I'm just a human like everybody else. And I have love and I have feelings for people. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm trying to teach you guys. You know, there's a reason why I am the teacher, uh, if, if you will, you know, we need, as MGTOW, we need to own our feelings. We need to have love for women, but be willing to let them go. That is the ultimate power. You don't want to have hatred. Hatred, you know, uh, resentment, those are all weakness feelings. Those are all going to bring you down and actually give people power over you. You want to be willing to love and let go, and then you're not going to have one-itis. And don't mistake having ge- genuine love for someone in a non-needy way. Don't mistake that for one-itis. That is not one-itis. That is actually true power. So when you guys see me me talking about you know girls from my past and how I still care for them that's not coming from a place of weakness that's coming from a place of I have love for them and I've already let them go and when you guys you know embrace that final step you will be complete as a man when you embrace that small part of your feminine side you know that small that small part of you that is you know really has feelings um, and you're in touch with that and you understand them and you have love for them but you don't let them control you you are now a complete man. There is now nothing anyone can ever do to control you, you know? And uh, that's really uh, that's really the lesson, guys. <laughs>